Hi everybody, in today's video I'm going to give you a quick demonstration and a bit of a how-to in ways that you can use your card stand die from Craftmaster. Now this is an incredible die that is used for on the back of photo frames, your card projects, your mixed media canvases, you name it, you can use it to prop up your projects, but also add stability to give it strength, but also that professional edge, that look and finish that you see out in the shops in displays on signs. It's something that you can create within your home for such a great price, but also for an effective result. So the die itself here you can see is made up of score lines and cut lines. And when run through your die cutting machine, again, it will fit through an A5 or of course an A4, you've got all of these different components which will create the signature shape for this stand. Also with the chamfered edge here giving you that lean back to your project. So when die cut, you can see here, this part actually is freestanding. This is the folding mechanism. And of course you have this angle. Now what I've done and what you're gonna to want to do as well to get the best strength out of your actual die cut is cut two of these. So whenever you're making a stand from your card stand die, you want to use two. And I've used 240 to 250 for this one. I'd recommend the heavier weights. If you're gonna use something such as 140, it's just not gonna act the same. And you're gonna to want to then multiply cuts. So you're gonna want four to actually double layer up. So if you've got some of the 250 within your stash, I would definitely recommend using that. You can also use construction weight acetate with your metal shim if you wanted to. Um, if you wanted it to be transparent so you don't see it, if maybe if it's been displayed on a side table. Um, but yes, 250 is the best weight to go for for this. Right, so with that in mind, we've got two of our die cuts here as they've cut out from our die. So what we want to do is flip one of them over and we're actually gonna mirror image it, okay, directly on top like this. And the components that we want to adhere together is this here, the strip that runs right through the center and then also this whole component because that's where we're gonna actually grasp the two together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a bead of wet glue all the way down the center almost to where the join is here, where these two little prongs stick down. I'm going all the way around the edge with the glue all over. You can use red liner tape for this. I tend to always use um, my wet glue for paper crafting projects. Um, it's gonna give me a permanent finish and also it binds the paper together rather than a tape that could potentially come loose in the future. Then I'm gonna flip this one over so they are facing one another. Okay, and what we're gonna do is just put a slight amount of pressure over the surface of there to make sure it all adheres together. So you'll still have a free moving co component in the center, but now you've got these two edges that are absolutely symmetrical. So what we're gonna want to do is now we're gonna want to fold the card, but just making sure all of that glue is stuck in place. Um, I'm using a pin flag book binding glue and this dries within like a minute or two, but of course, just let your glue dry. Um, or if you have used tape, you can go straight on to the next step. Then what you want to do is score it. So following the score lines created by the die, we're just gonna reinforce that fold and I'm gonna reinforce it again on this side here. So now we've created that signature shape. Now this is where the mechanism comes into play. You've got a score line that runs through the center. So as I fold this, you can see that is now visible. And when you actually fold it back, that then locks into the back, just like that, creating that signature stand. So when you actually pull it forward, reinforce that fold, and then you can see straight away it locks in just like that and that there is your stand for your die instantly made. So how do you apply this to a project? What's the best way to use it and how is it functional? How is it gonna serve its purpose within your home? Well, this is it, it's game changing. So with the actual card, I've got one of our paper crafting cards here from one of our summer celebration collections. Um, flip it over on the reverse, okay? And what I'm going to do is um, with the die you can see we've created our card stand and I'm actually going to lay the card flat. So I'm laying now the actual card stand open and flat. I'm gonna take some book binding glue and now we're gonna apply the glue directly to the center. Okay, so we're walk working all the way down the center but you don't want to apply any to this section because that still wants to fold freely. So we're gonna go all the way down the center just like this, then in this center point and you can go at the bottom end of that score line keeping this section here free from any adhesive. So then what we do is take this to the back of the project, just like this, making sure your card is the right way up, of course. There we go. I want to just pinch that down so it adheres all over to the surface of the card. And then as, you, as it's laid flat, you lift up either side, just like this, roll up that back panel, and then straight away, you've got a card stand just like that. So as I turn this around, you can see straight away that is supporting all the structure and weight of that card, no matter how much you're working within here. Look at this, so you can see straight away, 
you've got all of that taking the weight of your card. And when you look at a card like this, you can see how much has been built onto the surface of this. We've actually got decoupage, we've got frontal layers that have really been built up and it still takes the weight of all of that card. And of course, when you want to actually pack your cards down, you then just instantly fold it down like this and it folds flat again straight away and then your card can be put in the envelope posting off to your friend, your family member. As Soon as they get it again, they just fold it straight up. They go pop it right up either side, just like this, it folds forward and there you go. You've got your stand just like that. Pops flat straight again. So simple, so easy. But again, every single time you make a card for a loved one, family or friend, or if you're making and selling, these are brilliant. So that's a little quick how-to on how to use this Craftmaster die. It's amazing, it's fabulous, everybody needs one, but you're gonna absolutely love using it. Again, use a heavyweight card, 250 GSM, glue down the center, you'll get the best results. Link will be in the description to the video as well, so you can get all of the product information from highlightcrafts.com, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. If you want to see more from Highlight Crafts, make sure you click the like button. Subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below, and click the bell icon to receive notification of all our future content. You can also click here to see our latest video or click here to see more videos like this one.